Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's January 3rd, 18, approximately 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, this is powerful and amazing. <clears throat> so I'm receiving a massive major revelation regarding end time prophecy, um, some type of attack and explosion and earthquake and a, a great war, quote, great war. And the way this came out is amazing. So I received two or three emails in the since yesterday. I received a recently one from a brother here and another one from Sister Beth on this Juan de Fuca prophecy I gave on an earthquake, very specific. We're looking at this video here. And so I, after receiving these emails on an earthquake, I was prophesying in the Juan de Fuca fault, as you can kind of see on this map here. I immediately went and prayed, and the Lord spoke to me, and the rest is, is going to become history now. I am convinced 100%, I can boldly confess that this came from the Holy Spirit of God, and I'm going to publish it as such as a watchman so this goes back to on op october 17 17 an angel visited my room it was a messenger angel and this and he visits my room and he gives me a warning for the west coast canada and washington with very specific areas and he and he said the angel spoke to me like this he said fuka like the Juan de Fuca and Buta, B-U-T-A, Fuca Buddha, Fuca Buddha. And, uh, and so there's, there's many parts to this prophecy. That's why I say it's just amazing. So let's go to it. I'll play the original prophecy from October of last year. An hour ago, and I hear two words, Fuca and Buta. And I, I'm like laying there awake and I'm repeating it in my mind. Fuka Buta, Fuka Buta. And all of a sudden, I feel the presence of an angel. Of that angel. I feel the presence of an angel. So, <clears throat> I really did that. God is my witness. So, if you look on this map I'm showing right here from October of last year, I'm Googling the Juan de Fuca Strait, and I'd never heard of this before. And I'm receiving a lot of revelation from other people they're receiving from the Holy Spirit on this. And if you look right here, it, right in the middle of the screen is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And then this is the state of Washington. And then north of that is uh, British Columbia. And look right here, something that I wouldn't even look at is the Strait of Georgia. So let's flow on this. Just remember Georgia. So let's flow on this to the next part. So after receiving yet another email this morning from the brother, like I said, I went and prayed. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me in an amazing way that the Fuca was regarding a West Coast earthquake. I'll be very specific about this. And the Buta, B-U-T-A part, was regarding gas. Butane. So you have Buta and then N-E. Now, this is an amazing thing. So... In other words, what the Holy Spirit was showing me, and it just was a sudden knowledge of knowing, not necessarily a vision, just suddenly knowing this information with wisdom and understanding was the West Coast is in danger of an earthquake. And we all know that, but I, I wonder what people don't know is that it's going to involve some type of gas, which can make this event that's going to be bad even worse when when gas is involved and then this this isn't the first first time the lord has shown me that a, a major amount of gas or liquid fuel would be involved in this event but it was normally i was looking at it in regards to fires you know like the an earthquake would hit and start a fire and then the fire would hit gas and it would just become like a second event once it hit the gas so butane is a gas and you know, I'm not going to go into the scientifics of this, but there's isobutane, but then there's just uh, butane, which is, it says gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. 
For you science experts, let me know what you think about an earthquake and a gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure because I have no idea of this. It even has like the chemical components down here and stuff. And uh, but but that's not it. There's there's so much more. I just did a quick church uh, search for a video I was doing, and the Holy Spirit just kicked us up a huge notch. I mean, a huge notch in way of revelation. I'm mean, like, Shh. so let me just continue and stay focused on this above all. So remember how I'm pointing out here. Uh, Strait of Georgia right here so the word Georgia earthquake gas and the Juan de Fuca and there's a lot of different things I could show you like Dixon entrance I lived in Dixon California it's down here in uh, NorCal somewhere um, just south of Sacramento it's called Dixon's but it's showing a Dixon entrance so I think that just ties California into this uh, in my opinion Wow, less than that yet. So, um, like I said, stay focused on this. I think I'll pause for a second to let this distraction pass. Okay, so Fuka Buta, an earthquake, an earthquake involving some type of gas or fuel. And the Juan de Fuca straight right here. But then there's this, the Holy Spirit was showing me, look, you're, you're just looking at one aspect of this when I speak in multiple aspects. I speak in multiple layers of knowledge and revelation from God. Multiple. And so, look right down here, Sister Rhonda. Hey, isn't YouTube kind of great? God bless you, Sister Rhonda. <laughs> YouTube is a, is a great community. So I, I began to look at the 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 buta part of this the second word you know i said fuka buddha fuka buddha and i'm like well fuka. fuka and buta so i began to look at the so i can move this butane stuff out of the way but now i started focusing watch this on the buta b-u-t-a the the second layer of this and this this is amazing i want to tell you look this is amazing that prophecy was given in October of 17, right? So now this Buddha, this is where it gets really interesting, is an airway. It's an airline. And not only is it just an airline, it's a very small airline. And it has symbolism involved in this. Not only is it a small airline with symbolism uh, related to prophecy, it's also a brand new airline. Founded in... Uh, it, it started in September 1st, 2017 is when it began operating. There's a whole history on this. You can track flights from there. But they only have, like, I believe, two planes. I mean, you talk about... <laughs> I mean, so here, here it is, Buta. And so I began researching this, and here's where it really kicks off and stuff. Here's, here's a look at Buta. The, the airline. I'll zoom right in there for you. So it's right here on this tip. And now tell me, does this not look like a, a beak of some type of bird? So like this would be the body on the left hand side and then over here would be the right and this long thing would be a beak. It looks like a bird to me. Just remember that part. And so here is the airport. This is what came up from the Buddha. And so it's an airport. Matter of fact, I'll zoom in and let you see it. Looks like they have more than two planes. So, And when I saw this airport, the Holy Spirit quickened me and reminded me of an airport that looked almost exactly like this when he told me the package was going to be delivered. Now, I fully believe that package is some type of bomb. This is amazing. Some type of bomb. Um, so here's the airport that comes up, the Buta, B-U-T-A airport. Yeah, the exact word the Holy Spirit gave me. The angel visited me. And here's their airline, and their logo is a bird. It's actually could be considered two birds, like this bird with the beak going down, diving into this bird, which resembles a phoenix at the top. Look, its head here. Look, it's, it's a fleet size of seven. 
I'll show you where I got two airlines from. So seven, that's fleet size is seven and it goes to 11 destinations. Now, <clears throat> it used to be this, which I haven't really looked into, A-Z-A-L Jet, and they, I guess they, uh, they renamed it. And now watch this. It says on June 2017, the airline's livery and logo were approved. The logo reflects the symbolism of the mythical sacred bird Simurg, representing in the form of the Azerbaijani ornament Buta. I mean, there's the word. I understand an angel visited me, came into my room, and gave me a warning. It gave this word. It said, This is a second layer of the earthquake prophecy. <laughs> and as people began to send me information, he has me go pray, and, and it's coming. It says on the air, and so it's coming out more information through prayers. On the aircraft's aft and forward section, Buta patterns are drawn in blue which represents the airline ties with Azerbaijan Airlines and also in a bright red, now watch this, a bright red, which refers to their flag. And then it, so it talks about their fleet, it talks about seven countries, 11 destinations, and see, and then it mentions that they use these two aircrafts. So these two aircrafts are in total and then so you can actually even go look at these airlines it's actually these airlines which I did I mean these these airline makers these are manufacturers and stuff uh, the, the company of them are known to deal with space also and I'm watching this M87 event horizon thing they're known to deal with uh, space just follow me here. <clears throat> Jet is powered with General Electric. And then it comes on here and it talks about something regarding their work in the, the space industry, like NASA kind of does. So, military and this and that. And look at that. That's why I wanted to kick on here and come do this live 377. A warning number an angel gave me. Just looking to see if I'm not missing anything. Brazil. So, list of active. So, they have Brazilian military aircraft. So, so let me move on. The area shown is located in this country. So here's the airport. Is that not just the most bizarre thing? The Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, serving God is incredible. Serving God is incredible. I mean, I'm going to say it again. Serving God is incredible. If you're not serving God right now, you have no idea what you're missing. I mean, this type of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, it simply just doesn't... Uh, it doesn't ex it doesn't happen to you when you're not serving God it simply doesn't so let me come out of this area this <clears throat> looks kind of like we got turned around let me turn it back exactly like it was when I started doing my research and so we're gonna zoom out and while I'm showing this let me show you the confirmation that this is going to be a package delivered is going to be a bomb it's this video right here from October 22nd, same month, 2014. Watchman warning alarm. The package is about to be delivered and I'm showing this airport <clears throat> and I'm talking about a bomb. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Just looking at scriptures I was using in here Brussels and European Union remember that the Brussels because that's going to play a factor now again this video was from 2014 is this New York yeah here's Times Square and so the warning was for for three areas thank you host but I remember now the warning was for three areas Brussels Belgium 
the European Union, and New York. Boom. And look, the consulate. I mean, the word consulate pops up, really. This is huge. U.S. embassies pops up. I am mind blown. You understand? For those who follow this channel re regularly, I've been, like, when we talk about embassy and comp consulate, I think of Jerusalem and, and all the prophecies I received on embassies and, and consulate going back several years and how Trump just made a, moved a, the embassy to Jerusalem. So, I mean, this layers and layers. So, <clears throat> when we look at, I want to look at this area that came from researching Buta, found out it's an airline. <clears throat> if you know anybody that has any flight plans, the, the Holy Spirit is showing me a major, a major airline incident. And I don't know who wins on this, but uh, I would pray for anybody you know on airlines. So let me know. Here's where it got really, doesn't that look like, a, wait, let me go back. Doesn't that look like a space shuttle? on a runway get ready to take off you know the NASA space shuttles anyway let me zoom out and here's that bird looking thing almost like a crow or eagle or something and I'm gonna zoom out and it's the airport I was showing you and you're gonna see this area be amazed this is the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea and I'm gonna move over here I'm gonna show you something look right in the middle Georgia you see that? Georgia. I'm literally trembling a little. Georgia. Strait of Georgia. But so do you see how Futa and Buta tied together here? And all of these other uh, prophecies and alarms for a West Coast warning coming from a messenger angel? My goodness, man. I would put a very, very high alert, a very, very high alert on this prophecy. 100% this will come to pass. I'm telling you, 100% this will come to pass. The Lord may give us time. He may not. It's 11, 18 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1, 3. I don't know. Only God knows. The timing is all in his hands. When, when mentioning Georgia, right here, and south of it, Armenia, I remembered a prophecy I had given about Georgia during intercession on day 40 about, look, Georgia. Spiritual colors. And it, it, so when I saw this spiritual colors, I'll go right to it. I'll get the date and all that and do this properly. The date was June 13, 2016. So this was made before the airport even opened. I mean, that's how God's doing things. He wants your attention. He wants your soul to go to heaven. He's shaking this earth, man. I mean, this was made before that airport was even open. And so when I see these spiritual colors, I'm coming to an understanding that this was a long journey and a path the Holy Spirit was guiding me on in regards to that bright red thing I've seen in the sky that is now, to, I called it the red blob, that is now turning into an event in 2018. A black hole being seen by everyone. The M87 event horizon, the spiritual colors. But it's also Georgia and it's also earthquake. And so, but there was another one in here that also caught my attention. And so we talked about, let me try to sum this up. We're talking about an airline incident. We're talking about an earthquake. And uh, we're, we're talking about some type of liquid fuel and gas. We're talking about a bomb being delivered. Uh, we're talking about specific areas, the West Coast and, and this area I'm showing you right here on the map. This Georgia Armenia, this particularly this uh, Azerbaijan, it's A Z E R B A I J A N, right here where the earthquake is, but literally this whole area. We're talking about all of that, and then right here in the middle is this one. When I searched for Georgia, this pops up. An earthquake, 
an explosion and thermal nuclear event is CERN involved again I even listed some areas in here a hard rain specific areas this is in NorCal this is in NorCal Merced is in NorCal nuclear reactor explosion it's all way above my head saints it's for the Holy Spirit interesting to right. see what areas I was shown of it because like I said I, I just want to make this live looks like a NorCal weather temperature I wrote in prophetically a hard rain falling like rocks I remember that so this was in regard to Georgia and these this is the California area where I live so I'm just going to get down to this and go through this and here's the earthquake uh, in Georgia warning so I'm gonna I heard the word G Georgia and I saw a great sunburst like an explosion of light on the Sun and in a vision the sky began to rain frogs and I understood to represent in time plagues and then I go on to talk down here about Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and the I remember this four horses that looks like the Sultan uh, see I'm getting pretty familiar with this oh this area thermal in Mecca that's a confirmation for me Mecca because I was looking up when is Mecca in 2018 and it's their journey it's in August because it started with when is Ramadan and I think Ramadan is in May but I'm getting ahead of myself here it's just things I've been researching I don't really talk about so clearly this is a major warning about some type of huge explosion or earthquake and and a uh, and terrorist attack I mean this is huge down to specific areas so when I looked up this uh, this area is when it got really interesting Futa Buta led me to all of this and then people praying uh, compelled me to go pray more on this As a matter of fact look at this M17 does anybody remember that flight MH17 crash I mean that was Malaysia that was out of Malaysia the flight 307 and flight MH17 here's a 17 right here I mean just more confirmations so this area right here is is in this area near Hungary and Georgia and all that can everybody see that but in Armenia so here's Georgia here's Armenia I want everybody to know here's something called Lake Ermaya it's out on the coast this uh, uh, Buta Airport in Baku B-A-K-U only God could do all that and but when I what really got interesting is when I looked up this word of this highlighted country or nation or whatever it is this A-Z-E-R-B-A-I-J-A-N I found out you know it's also in Iran and I have prophetic warnings on Iran too so another layer unfolds and now we're t uh, there's a warning for coming out of Iran who are literally in this huge revolution right now going on I think is it the seventh day does anybody know it's today the seventh day and they are uh, there's huge uh, it's almost like an, an entire statewide coup in Iran and the media isn't discussing it much so I look up that area and uh, uh, right here Azerbaijan and, and, it, and it's talking about so here it is here Georgia but if, if you if you look it up this same word right here, A Z E R B A I J A N. This is a see. It says Baku. So this is the current one, and here comes another layer unfolding. And take note of that flag right there. It's also the same exact place. Is also in Iran. And look at the coordinates: thirty-seven, thirty-seven, thirty-seven. I mean. let's see what this says here real quick Azerbaijan Iran relations are foreign relations between Azerbaijan and Iran 
look at embassy again coming up saints we gotta pray for israel we, are, we just gotta pray iran has an embassy in baku well this is interesting that's the area we're looking at in a consulate general look at this are y'all hearing this that know these prophecies in this city And then they have an embassy in Tehran. This thing is huge. I just know. To the Spirit of the Lord, this is huge. No idea where this is. It's in Aberdeen. It's in the same area, it appears, that we're looking at, right? You see what I mean? Why does that look like a totally different area? There it is. Do you see that? So, the reason why this is compelling to me is because if you come over here with that same word, A-Z-E-R, and it says Iran, layers, layers, also known as Iranian Azerbaijan. So, the only thing I can understand is that this same city is located in two different countries. One of them is over there by Georgia and Armenia, and the other one is Iran. Remember I said take note of the flag and stuff? Well, here's the Iranian flag. And so I began to research even more. I'm like, Holy Spirit, what are you really trying to show me? And he took me to the scripture. He took me to the scripture of Daniel 10. The reason why I looked at this uh, Iranian area as led by the Holy Spirit was it reminded me of when uh, an angel came and was helping Daniel but he said he'd been delayed three weeks fighting the prince of Persia which I understand to be some big principality over the area of Persia and you know what Persia is Persia is modern day Iran today where I'm just showing you Iran it used to be called Persia in the Bible and I'm going to read this it says who is the prince of Persia in Daniel 10 and it says the prince of Persia is only mentioned one time is Daniel 10. It's a highly apocalyptic and therefore at least partially symbolic section of the book of Daniel. Most likely the prince of Persia is a reference to an evil spiritual entity, a principality, that wielded authority over the ancient kingdom of Persia, which is Iran. It's Iran, y'all. There's my little Iran. I was thinking about using that for a thumbnail. That one's Iran. Daniel 10. The prophet Daniel had received a troubling vision concerning, here it is, and I'm going to close with this. What was the vision about? A great war. You see how all that came together? And it was... The Archangel Michael that visited him. The same one that I believe is going to blow the trump. The same Archangel Michael in the book of the Revelation. And it's regarding this Prince of Persia and Greece. It says, as a Shiite Muslim nation... Iran persecutes Christians, believers as well. And, and this is such an, a huge thing because I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'll even try to show you real quick before I hit close and upload this thing about. I was working on this other video and I never uploaded it. It was about when Iran had launched two missiles. And they, they had uh, Hebrew writing on them, and they said that they were going to wipe Israel off the map. I suppose I'll just get this part in, too. I had named this file War. War. And it was in regards to, the date was 3916. And it was in regard to Iran launching these missiles. They had fought, and they named the missiles QADR. And it, the title of this video is Watchman Warning Iran, Israel, Missiles, Pentagon, Drones, and North Korea. North Korea. 
So, and I was actually playing part of this, and it was showing them Praise the Lord. They were launching, I think it was QDR. So, tell you the launch. There's two missiles, and on the missiles, it's written in Hebrew, fired from Iran, written in Hebrew, that Israel must be wiped out. Well, there you go. I suppose those would contain fuel, right? Rocket fuel? I understand they landed in the... in the sea. Tehran? Did you hear that? Tehran? It's the capital of Iran. Says this week's tests are intended to show Iran's power to deter, quote, any threat. Well, now they're in a complete re uh, revolution. And so what I came over here and I wanted to know what Kedar meant in Hebrew. Q, and I think I had put in just QDR. Or was it QADR? Yeah, right here, meaning. It's still here. Watch this. Kedar Arabic translated Kedar meaning fate. It means fate. And then, it, and then it took me into these, they're called the five pillars of Islam. And that's what this original video is about, is pillars. There's a Juan de Fuca pillar. And so, as you can see how I, hey, Sister Rhonda. <laughs> it's funny when I see who's over here on the right. When you see how this all poured together, because I even find this pillar it's a living crack because for the what boot area look uh, it's a pillar did you see Lord that? Jesus what are you showing us man I'm gonna tell you what he's showing us man the five pillars of Islam an attack on Israel and uh, uh, Iran involved in an earthquake everything I just said man the, the uh, so I stopped researching this when it got into Allah and Islam and all that. But one thing I did notice was the difference between Sunni and, and Shia. And, and it turns out Iran is Shia, as we've just learned. But And I didn't read about these pillars. I don't need to learn about all that. But what I do know is that they believe in a jihad. They believe in a holy war. They believe in their own apocalypse. And, and, and they believe in their own end of the war and they believe that their job is to wipe out infidels and what's an infidel? anybody that's not Islam and so I'm starting to see the big picture of what's coming and it's pretty much everything I just said God bless you have a wonderful day and above all pray man and I thank God for showing me this stuff